Good evening. We light the candles on the altar to remind us that we are in the presence of Jesus, who is fully divine and fully human. Welcome to worship, both those in person and those online, as we together take a walk on a spiritual journey. We may be doing practices that are new to you. That is okay. Take a breath and together learn something new. Let us pray. Jesus Christ, light of the world, come and light the dark corners of our lives. Where we are blind, grant us sight. Where we stumble in darkness, illumine our path. Quiet us with your love and enable us to hear your still, small voice. For you are our dear friend, Lord, and we, be- and we long to be fully present to you. Amen. Amen. Our song tonight is Holy O Holy Spirit, enter in. It's hymn number 786 in the Cranberry Hymnal.
For the examine this evening, let us be still and prayerfully reflect on these questions. What gifts has God given you, given to you today? When today did I experience darkness in my life or demonstrate darkness to someone else? How was God present in that? When today did I experience light in my life or demonstrate light to someone else? Where was God in that? Let us pray. Family of faith, we cannot lose God's love. It is undeserved, overwhelming, ever-present, and always with us. So may we accept God's grace and use it as fuel for better days. Hear and believe the good news of the gospel. No matter how many times we walk away, God always welcomes us home. We are loved, we are forgiven, we are invited. Thanks be to God. Amen. Listen for God's word coming to us from the Bible. Our hearts and minds are open. In the Bible, the writer of the Gospel of Luke wrote about Jesus on a mountain where he stood in radiant light, surrounded by Moses and Elijah. He came down the mountain with three disciples and set his face to go to Jerusalem, where he was greeted with a triumphant entry. On the way, Jesus illustrates light and darkness with a lamp and in people. Have you ever heard something at one time, at one point, and then heard it again later on and realized a totally new meaning? Well, tonight we're going to explore the idea of possibly hearing something and then hearing it in a new way. But let's look at the lesson first of all, overall. In this lesson, we find out that the crowds are gathering around Jesus. Actually, this was just before it. But he cast out evil spirits, he healed people, and he was teaching. So in the lesson tonight, Jesus is teaching. And he teaches about light and darkness. Those two themes we looked at in that examen. And so in this lesson, in teaching about light and darkness, he compares the light that if a person in that evening time when it's getting dark, if a person lights a lamp, they don't put a cover over it. But then he goes and talks about light and darkness in a deeper way. What does he mean when he says 
The eye is the lamp of your body. Then we quickly, it seems, move to a different, a separate portion of the lesson. But they relate. The lesson is when a Pharisee, a lay religious leader, invites Jesus to have a meal with him at his home. And the leader was astonished that Jesus did not wash before the meal. But Jesus then begins to talk about that which is dark and wicked that is inside of a person while a Pharisee is concerned with what's on the outside. So tonight we look at this lesson and we see perhaps what God seeks for us to reflect upon in this lesson. During this first reading, we find that the purpose is of hearing a word or a phrase that touches your heart. And when the word or phrase is found and you hear it, recite it, reflect upon it, in the silence that follows. Reading of the Gospel from Luke chapter 11. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it in a cellar, but on the lampstand, so that those who enter may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But if it is not healthy, your body is full of darkness. Therefore consider whether the light in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, with no part of it in darkness, it will be as full of light as when a lamp gives you light with its rays. While he was speaking, a Pharisee invited him to dine with him. So he went in and took his place at the table. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not wash before dinner. Then the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees clean the outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You fools! Did not the one who made the outside make the inside also? So give for alms those things that are within, and see, everything will be clean for you. The second reading is for the purpose of hearing or seeing Christ in the text. Ponder that word that has touched your heart and ask where that word or phrase touches your life today. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it in a cellar but on the lampstand, so that those who enter may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But if it is not healthy, your body is full of darkness. Therefore consider whether the light in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, with no part of it in darkness, it will be as full of light as when a lamp gives you light with its rays. While he was speaking, a Pharisee invited him to dine with him. So he went in and took his place at the table. 
the Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not first wash before dinner. Then the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees clean the outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You fools, did not the one who made the outside make the inside also? So give for alms those things that are within, and see, everything will be clean for you. In this spiritual discipline of Lectio Divina, the third reading is for the purpose of experiencing Christ, who is calling us forth into being. You can ask yourself what Christ in the text is calling them to do or to become today or this week. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it in a cellar, but on the lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But if it is not healthy, your body is full of darkness. Therefore, consider whether the light in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, with no part of it in darkness, it will be as full of light as when a lamp gives you light with its rays. While he was speaking, a Pharisee invited him to dine with him, so he went in and took his place at the table. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not first wash before dinner. Then the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees clean the outside of the cup and of the dish. But inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You fools! Did not the one who made the outside make the inside also? So give your alms those give for alms those things that are within, and see everything will be clean for you. God, be in our listening. God, be in our understanding. Please join me in affirming our faith. We believe in God above us, maker and sustainer of all life, of sun and moon, of water and earth, of male and female. We believe in God beside us, Jesus Christ, the divine word made flesh, born of a woman, servant of the poor, tortured and nailed to a tree. A man of compassion, he died forsaken. He descended into the earth to the place of death. On the third day, he rose from the tomb he ascended into heaven to be everywhere present. 
and his kingdom will come on earth. We believe in God within us, the Holy Spirit of Pentecostal fire, life-giving breath of the church, spirit of healing and forgiveness, source of resurrection and eternal life. And let us pray. Gracious Lord, we come before you. And we thank you that you are with us. Surround us with your comforting presence. Let your light shine into us and through us. Help us to be your light in a sometimes very dark world. Lord, we come to you. And we ask that you would clean us, that you would forgive us, guide us and help us. Lord, on this day we lift up before you all who are hurting and troubled. We remember before you all of those on our prayer list. And Lord, we remember those who are grieving, who are aching with the pain of the loss of a loved one. And tonight we remember the family and friends of Nancy Vold. Lord, we come before you. And we remember those who have health issues. Ken, who is dealing with some lung issues. And we remember before you all who are dealing with a variety of things. Caroline, Micah, Don, Terrell, and Paige, and August. Ralph joy Lord we lift up before you this congregation and we ask that you would be with this congregation to bless and guide it and the leadership of this church we ask your blessing upon churches as we prepare for Holy Week and for Easter be with the churches around the world who gather together. Lord, we lift up before you places where there is no peace. And we ask that your peace would be present. We think of the violence of war, the flight of refugees, and people internally displaced in their countries. Let your peace be present. Guide us, Lord, in all the ways that you want us to be your servants, your disciples. In your name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord's Prayer Our Father in Heaven Hallowed be your name Your kingdom come Your will be done on earth as in heaven Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In our offering prayer, let us pray. Thank you, God, for becoming flesh and coming down to us. Thank you for being as close to each of us as our own heartbeat and the breath we just took. Thank you, God, for understanding us and redeeming us from the inside out. Guide us to be as generous as you are to us. Amen. Receive a blessing. Now thus says the Lord, he who created you, Lisa, Kathy, Diane, Shirley, Laura, he who formed you, Carla, Eugene, Don, Mary, Dale, Pauline, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, Ralph, Joy, Sue, Terry, Jill, Kim, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. Marlene, Jim, Marlene, Virgin. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Linda, Rich, Sandy, Daryl, Sue, Jim, Shirley. Because you are precious in my sight, Larry, Carolyn, Roxy, Dick, Lisa, and honored, and I love you. And I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, Mark, Tracy, Andy, Beth, Lori Lynn, Caroline, and all who are listening online. Do not fear, for I am with you. I invite you to stand as you are able and sing our sending song, Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross, hymn number 335.
purpose statement, share God's love, bringing hope to others. Please be seated for a few announcements. Um, our deepest sympathy to the family and friends of Nancy Volt. Her memorial service will be held uh, this Saturday, April 2nd, at Mount Calvary. Um, the visitation will begin at 11, and the service will be at noon, followed by a meal. Oh, that's wrong. Oh. Visitation is at noon, service at 1. What did I say? Oh, visitation at 11, service at noon. Yeah. No. One more. Visitation. <laughs> Oh, okay. service at one. Oh, okay. My mistake. Well, obviously our mistake. So. <laughs> okay, sorry. Visitation at noon, service at one. Okay. Please keep her sister Yvonne Clements and the rest of the family members in your prayers. And if anybody has an official Nancy made um, necklace, please wear them in her honor. Um, during Lent, please continue to bring your prayers to the foot of the cross but beside the altar. These prayer petitions will be used by Pastor Rich in the prayers for next week's Lenten service. Flowers for Easter. Please pick up an order form from the back table, or you can also find an insert in your service bulletin to order flowers for our Easter service. Easter is April 17th. Please get your order in by April 13th. Um, okay, here, if you're good at publicizing, recruiting, selecting, training, finding, and matching, and supervising, we would like to talk to you. You are an ideal candidate as a Stephen ministry leader. We need you to join our team. Training is available, and life transformation awaits. Please contact Pastor Rich, Shane Lutke, or Paul Pulowski. Uh Next Wednesday, April 6th, will be our last soup supper. We'll serve all the leftover soups. I know we've been waiting for that for a long time. <laughs> uh, there will also be desserts and refreshments. Uh, okay, coordinator and volunteers are needed for meal preparations in the kitchen. We've been asked to assist with after funeral service meals and this summer with the Jubilee House meals. Please call the church office to express your interest. Come to Crossways Waypost Bible Camp. Make your reservations soon. Check with Pastor Rich or the church office for information. Easter breakfast. Woot woot. <laughs> After <laughs> Lisa Marquardt wrote that. No? <laughs> okay. After two years, we're going to gather together for Easter breakfast from 8 a.m. to 8.45 on April 17th. Service is at 9 a.m. Sign-up sheet back there by Lisa to help with breakfast and any questions. Okay. Messiah Concert this Sunday at the Grand Theater. Uh, 3 o'clock. It's free, but you need tickets to enter, right? Call the Grand for information. Come hear our very own Kathy Kowalki sing. You can order the tickets online. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I think that's it. Okay. Um, sending blessing. Before smartphone, before regular phones, before planes, trains, or automobiles, before any of the buildings around us existed or any of the trees around us had sprouted, <clears throat> before our country was a country and before the country we broke away from was a country, before the Roman emperors and the Greek philosophers, before the Persian or Babylonian or Assyrian emperors, before David fought Goliath or Deborah was judge over all of Israel, back when God sent Moses to stand up to Pharaoh and let God's people go, and they escaped the empire of Egypt through a path God carved in the sea. At that time, God spoke through Moses to the high priest Aaron and gave him words to bless God's people, and they have been used to bless God's people ever since. These words blessed Joshua and Ruth, David and Solomon, Isaiah and Amos. They blessed Jesus and countless Christians who stood firm, confessing Jesus as Lord in the face of beatings and certain death. They blessed Augustine and Francis, Martin Luther, and everyday children of God around the world and throughout time. And now I use them to bless you. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen.